That's hard. I don't have time to pick. Yeah, I don't like it. Like, it's where you have to put your name in it. It just doesn't amount <laughs> for anything. Yeah, really. How many people are playing this one cartridge? I think I have played this one very briefly. I like the ideas in it, but level design is hard. Oh, he's... I was going to make a joke about him being playable. He kind of is. What? Well, not really. We'll get to it. Hmm. More like you throw him at people. <laughs> 2004. I guess it's the same year as Heroes, I believe. What an unlikely combination. <laughs> you got to knock the characters anyway, so you're gonna uh. have to do that. The other long play is just that combination, which is not great for showing off this game's gimmick. So I guess this is the return of Robotnik, Robotnik Land? Eggman Land? Whatever? <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing that, like, just... It keeps getting just mentioned, and then... That's the, that's about it. It gets one mention and it's done. It's kind of prominent in Sonic Colors. Weird. In fact, that's actually the, that's actually the setting in the game. Couldn't think of it. Huh. Well, guess I'm oh, glad he finally well. got to build it. I don't know. Yeah. I never finished Sonic Colors. So, so here's the uh, break from tradition. Uh, first level is not like a green area. Well, I guess City Escape, but. In terms of 2D, it's kind of weird to have a city level first. You found a chow. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Sonic loves collectibles. Which is... Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not really, a, not really what I think of when it comes to the seas, but yeah, we'll just go with that. This looks kind of weird, play power. It sounds like they, they jumped on the GBA bandwagon of random voice clips. Yeah. Which is, uh, the last Kirby video me and Yoshi did was, uh, kind of the same thing. <laughs> so, are, are there, like, ten Chow in every stage, do you know? I believe so. Oh. I never made the effort to pick him up, though. Uh, I'm not... Hmm. Not the biggest fan of exploration Sonic games, especially 2D Sonic games. <laughs> you don't say. It's almost like it's never that fun. Yeah. So there's the, the... I don't know what you call it, partner mechanic, tag mechanic, whatever. Uh, you hold the right button for like a second. <laughs> Music starts again, okay. <sighs> uh, and then it just calls them in, and there's like two variants, one on the ground and one in the air. On the ground, it's, um, it's like a huge jump for Tails. In the air, obviously, he just starts carrying you, flying. Okay. And then, like, he does that no matter who your primary partner is? Oh like, boy, uh... <laughs> or does it actually change? So. Well, the thing is, it's more than just that, it actually changes your character's abilities. So, <laughs> certain combinations, like, Tails can use Amy's hammer, if they're paired up. <laughs> it's creative, it just... This game falls apart with the level design, I've seen a problem with it. I don't know what happened as well, because the previous two games were fine. Yeah, they... they it's like they, 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 they jumped on the uh, the same thing that uh, the 3D Sonic games were doing, where they're like, well, we have to do gimmicks. Like, we, we can't just get yeah. comfortable with where we were. Yeah, this is super gimmicky. I mean, I guess 2 was as well, but... That was more... Su subtle design. I yeah. guess. I mean, the thing about the Tugs gimmick is that at least it seems to fit with what Sonic is, which is fast. Hmm. It's like that, they, like him running a really fast and like beating a level while constantly moving. That's not a like out of place gimmick. Yeah. That, like that fit, fits in naturally, even though that's not. Yeah, of course. What Sonic always was. Just dialed it, dialed it up to eleven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But. I think if you've got Sonic as a partner, you can do the Sonic Advance 2, like... Yeah, those. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
to be fair, there's like five characters, so I forget all the combinations. I have not played this in years. So, uh, do you ever switch characters, or is it always just like a partner character in a primary? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Then you can choose them uh, in the hope world. It's probably why they have the hope world, come to think of it. Oh, I see. They need to have it, like, in rival schools where after the end of one level you get, like, a character select <laughs> or character swap option. Yeah. Yeah, this is also, like, not really, like, that arcade because of the Hope World. Yeah. It's also a lot longer. Right. How many voice kits they use? I feel like... It's a weird thing, like, even just the end of the level there, where in 2 you had, like, a... I don't even know what you call it, like, a goal section where you would actually get mm. points based on how fast you're moving when you hit the goal. Yeah. And then that one is just, like, it just kind of stops you dead, and it's like, oh, by the way, hit this little coin. So, uh, three acts. Yeah. Not a fan. I don't know, it's immediately picking up on things that made 2, like better than this. Mm. I, I do get the idea that, like, the, the partner's gimmick is interesting. It is. I feel like that could maybe work in a more normal Sonic game, which, I mean, the Advanced Series kind of is. Although, it, I'd say 2 was a little weirder in that regard. This doesn't look particularly... I mean, so far, it isn't very much like what I know in, like, Two or rush to be like, where it's just mm -hmm. constant speed. No, it's not like that. Oh yeah, they have to image thing still. Yeah. <laughs> That's necessary, I guess. <sighs> the hell? Okay. So we're not going backwards. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, there's two checkpoints very close to each other. <laughs> Is it just me, or was did they never do that in old Sonic games? Like, have you move left? No, no, they 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 did. Like, did like, they? like if I think back to like Hydro City, you know, the bits where you'd go down the slide left, you don't know going right, but. I mean, like, uh... You mean, like, literal backtracking? Not necessarily, just, like, just... The, the level was designed in a way where you'd actually kind of go back and forth, but, like, you would go left side and significant enough from that that it actually... <laughs> well, uh, uh, Knuckles Chaotix. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't seem tend to consider that one in the one I think of classic Sonic games. Can't tell you why. <laughs> but... Okay. Oh, I don't know why we're doing that. Oh, can you only get like certain chow like in one pass? So, um, I never mentioned it in the video because uh, oh, special the key, the special stage. Did you uh look up or did you see what I posted when I looked up what the Sonic Advance Two special stage was? No. I remember posting no. it, I think, but it's, um... It's in, like, a pseudo-3D environment, kind of like Blue Sphere, except with free movement. I did look it up by myself, though. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you're you're just running around in a big, like, checkerboard land, and you're actually <laughs> running away from Zero from Sonic Adventure 1, which is <laughs> hilarious, because I'm pretty sure, like, one of us in that video was just like, oh, that, it's a... Good thing that guy came back in so many games, and it's like, he actually oh. came back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not sure what the chow were for. <laughs> Maybe the chow gardens back, I can't remember. So, uh, that was... Uh, that was gonna lead into. I wonder, it, does this game have like a special stage or? Yeah, it does. Well, uh, this video gets all the emeralds, so we'll definitely see it this time.
I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure in some other video, I, I did say the phrase, I am so glad that we don't have to see, like, a bunch of special stages in this long play. <laughs> like, in a Kirby game or something, like, man. Uh, <laughs> they are just the worst parts of these things. Yeah. Oh, well. There it is, right. There it is. Did we go back into that stage for the key, by the way? What? What? Do they meant need to do that? Oh god, oh, we've got to redo all these levels. Oh my oh, god. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> Oops! Christ. I don't even know what they're trying. I'm pretty sure that was where they wanted to be. Oh, okay, it's a different thing. Jesus. Oh, I think that, that other one is just a bonus stage where you get some lives. Here we go again. Alright. Uh, this looks silly. I guess he does it all the time, but yeah, it's just silly. <laughs> the fact that he's like <laughs> tiptoeing like very carefully in a way yeah. that like absolutely would not work. Like if he's standing on it, sure, whatever. He can't like tiptoe around on it like carefully. But that... <laughs> Seems more in line with uh, the first game than the third. <laughs> I don't know what it is about seeing them reference adventure that throws me off, but like the way the plane like transformed into the Tornado 2 or whatever yeah. for that speed up is like it's such a specific reference, but I mean I guess it is canon, so Didn't they say it was a one-way transformation and it didn't have landing kids? <laughs> <laughs> this is a suicide mission, Sonic! We're not coming back from this. What? A suicide mission? No, he actually didn't say he couldn't transform back, he just didn't do it. Oh, so quite, just, yeah, we, yeah. We just kind of assume that it can't, but... Like, <laughs> Not too long, he says. Just on uh, number one. Yeah, maybe it wants a little longer. <laughs> What's that music doesn't... There's something off about that music, it doesn't really... Yeah. Not many Sonic -y. I don't know what it is. It wasn't really much of a jingle. Yeah. <sighs> Why does... I mean, it's one thing to have a hub world when you don't need one. Why does that have to be, like, kind of a level in itself? I have no idea. Hey, yeah, uh, remember Sonic Battle? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, so... I was wondering if we are going to see something like this. So we have... what is his name? Jimril? Jimril, yeah. I was just saying that out loud for the very first time, I just realized... Oh, like, Gem, like, Emerald. Yeah, Gem, okay. Emerald, yeah. <laughs> he, he was just there, I guess. And now yeah. he's, like, socketed in the bottom and Tails is staring at him. I have to be honest, I was thinking earlier, I was just... Sonic Battle was after this, right? And then I, like, very much realized, no, it's not. <laughs> Fuck. Why are you little? <laughs> Why are you little? <laughs> what is Jimril doing? It's part of the machine. It's it's helping somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I'm fine. The word is gonna casually walk away. I really forgot how much they double down on voice acting in this game. <laughs> that was just a thing in the GBA, like... There was a... we talked about that, there was like a bunch of releases of like... Like Mario World, uh, and some other oh, games, God. and then like, a uh, Link to the Past. But it's like, oh, let's just God. put in random voice clips that we had lying around. Mario Advance 1. <laughs> Toad. <laughs> 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 Oh god. Uh, Alright, so level two, Green Hill. No. Sunset Hill, can't you read? <laughs> this is the theme of Sunset Hill. 
It just is the Green Hill Zone music, alright. Yeah. I was just weird that it's just level 2. I remember this being quite novel when I played it for the first time, because this was back before they really went like ape shit referencing Green Hill Zone. Oh, you know, yeah. pre Titan Mania, pre. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, you didn't know it at the time, <laughs> but there was one in uh, Adventure 2. No, I didn't know that at the time, but yeah. The, um, because that means I have to credit that guy again. <laughs> you should remember his name. Matt Soap, something or other. It's not, I guess it's not literally Green Hill Zone, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's other than the music, it doesn't look anything like it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's, it's, uh, Wood Zone. It's a thing. Yeah, boy! That Victor Jingle blows me off because it's like mostly the Sonic Advance 1 win music, and then it just changes mm. near the end. Yeah. The music's kind of weird in this game. Yeah. Uh. God, it's such a cool. <laughs> Tails! I would not call this a good remix of Green Hill Zone. No. It's the main Fine, melody is, like, kind of discordant? It... Uh, this is the G I mean, partly the GBA. Yeah... We've also been spoiled by, like, T-Lopes, so... <laughs> I mean, Sonic Advance 1 had random references to Sonic 1 music. They didn't sound oh, as yeah. weird as this. It sounds it's like it's them. dying. The... This uh, doesn't just do the, the multiple act music thing. It, 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 it seems to like ramp up in, in intensity. Kind of like, almost like third strike music, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So like the third one is like, Act 3 will hear is like... They, they, they sound less like remixes and more like, parts of one track. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gonna see that? No, I guess not. I think you just like, destroy a machine or something. The machine from Sonic Spinball. Yes. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like the way it starts up, it sounds like. Yeah. No, it's just. Omu Chow. Oh, yeah, they've got Omu Chow in this. Great, thanks. <laughs> no, Omu is also fully voiced for some reason. Oh, right, that bungee thing! That's like the one thing from the advanced games that made it into Sonic Mania. <laughs> I think they put it in Stardust Speedway, if I remember correctly. That's like the only thing from these games that wasn't just on the 16-bit games. I don't remember that, actually. I feel like a dog for even knowing that, but I noticed <laughs> it when I played it. Yeah, if you just hold it. I mean, to be honest with you, when I, whenever I play this, I just constantly hold the right button. Just so it's ready to go, I don't know. <laughs> but it gets kind of annoying. I just realized this should have like a co-op mode or something, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. 
I'm having GBA link cable just completely go off on their own. I thought that probably wouldn't help any actually. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, that's awful. I hate that. I thought it was different than that. I don't remember that. That that is genuinely awful. Ah, uh, yeah. No, that sucks. I don't remember it though. I thought it was different. You have to Collect ten chow throughout three stages, and then replay the third stage again to get the key, in order to get the special stage. Yeah. And then you want to do the special stage. Who greenlit that? That is... I'm sorry, that is the worst way to do that. Ice Knuckles is here. Please tell me you have a really stupid fight with him. Yeah, I got duped again. <laughs> I like him sliding off. <laughs> That's a good introduction. <laughs> Bet you can use my help. No. You can, <laughs> you can outplay him. <laughs> That's the least of this level's worries. It's the fact that you have to play this entire level over again. Yeah, oh god, and the levels get really hard. Yeah. Yeah, of course it's there. I know that. Yeah, you have to find the key too, which... This game actually looks... You've got to find 11 things, and you can't do it all at once either. Yeah. Is this game really linear, or am I just, like, seeing things? Well... <laughs> this level design is kind of not great. There's not a lot of flow, a lot of stops and starts, you know? Yeah. It's like they didn't like what they did for Sonic Advance 2, so they were like trying to. Oh no, we need more platforming, we need more exploration. It's constantly going like right, left, right is reminding me of Chaotix level design. Oh no. And the fact that you can kind of just... I don't know if exploit it with your team up, like with your partner is right. Yeah! No, no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> like playing as Charmy in Chaotix just yeah. nullifies the whole design. I get the feeling there's certain combinations that'll kind of just bypass certain areas. Hmm. I would say this game makes interesting speedruns though because of the combinations. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll like swap them out for different levels. I'm just alive. That hasn't changed. The funny thing is though, like, this is a two hour video, but the levels are really aren't that long, not particularly so. Well, I mean, when you have to replay, uh, yeah, yeah. Act 3 every single time. Yeah. I'm really just padding this out. But yeah, it's almost like the 3D games in that we can't just make like an arcade game you can beat in one session, you know? Yeah. Oh god, the boss is a separate thing. <laughs> now I gotta find the special stage in this hub. Yeah. Doesn't need to exist. I think it still has a lock on it though. <laughs> you got the key. Oh my god. Just the realization this is the second of seven. Oh god. So at least they're spread out a bit and they're not like all clustered together in Emerald Hill Zone. Okay, so I'm really trying to look on the right side. I mean, you could say the same for Advance 1. Yeah. I feel like the, the problem that we're getting is we've been through so much of this that we're running out of, like, random trivia. <laughs> it's true. That's why we've got to watch that movie. <laughs> we should just watch the movie during special stages. 
<laughs> just bit by bit. <laughs> just put in picture and picture, just edit the video. Oh, yeah, YouTube would love that. <laughs> Got a way to get around copyright. Surrounded by an actual Sonic game. I was have to do, uh, flip the movie, you know, horizontally. That'll do it. That'll, yeah. I'll never find it. Just keep thinking of that, um... Oh, and I can't remember the name of the movie now. Shit. That western. I think you posted it. Oh, um... The Quick and the, the dead. dead. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was all flipped. <laughs> Might have to explain that, though, because... <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> I I've been so disconnected from Tumblr for, like, the last year that... It's like, I wonder if my posts are even still there. Uh, I checked in on uh, uh, FYM2612 and the posts are still there. Although the view counter I added uh, is broken, <laughs> but the posts are all still there. <laughs> so I presume it's still intact. Yeah. It's one of those things, like, it could just go at some point, I would just never know. Yeah. Oh, uh. this is... <laughs> this first two bosses are just like, hey, uh, we can, like, rotate sprites. What can we do with that? To be fair, I think there's been a lot of the bosses in this series. Hmm. We'll see if it's a trend in this game. Because I can't really remember the bosses. I just keep noticing that General is just like he's like fused with all these machines for for not much of a reason. Yeah, they have like an idea, but it didn't really amount to much. It's very Casino Night that arena. Yeah. I don't know what I'll make of this little area. <laughs> I'm going through... <laughs> gay, gay pride zone, I don't know. <laughs> I quite like, I quite like the theme of this level. It's a little different. The music's quite ominous. I don't know if it's suitable for Sonic, but... We're gonna change our characters. Hey. <laughs> so only certain combinations um, have like named teams. <laughs> I mean, unless you're Sonic and Tails, in which case, uh, I mean that is your name, I guess. <laughs> uh, it was Unbreakable Friendship, I believe it was called. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that. Right, yeah, so that, that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Like, you're playing this for a If you're going too quickly, you're going to die instantly. do not matter how many wings you have. I got this Sandopolis, like, sand place. Yeah. I like this level's theme and music, but, oh my god, the level design is horrible. It's not like Collision Chaos bad, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> I'm really sure what you would do here if you weren't a certain character. I can't tell if you meant Wacky Workbench or you also meant Collision Chaos. I, I meant Wacky Workbench, <laughs> but fuck Collision Chaos as well. <laughs> so we'll answer that question. Yeah, okay, that's sort of part of things the same. It's weird that. Oh, right, he has a, if he has Tails as a partner, he does like a little, like, Rising uppercut before he goes into the glide. <laughs> what? Just for having tails as a part, and I think all tails and stuff is really just like jumping and jump. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. It looks cool. Yeah. <sighs> Glad he goes. Knuckles are, having, Knuckles are having a harder time with those walls than Sonic, which should really not be the way. Yeah, no, you oh. should you just kind of like point and then just punch it real quick. Hmm. 
breaks into pieces and then they go into Sky Sanctuary. I still really like the sprite work on all this, like... Oh yeah, absolutely. And they've got more than, it, like, ever now. Like, there's sprites for, like, every character using Amy's hammer, for instance. I... Th it's like, everything they've done with the characters seems really good. With, like, all the different moves mm. and the, the combinations and stuff, it's just... It doesn't seem like it's attached to a very good game. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, the, um... You know, the, uh, the Amy gimmick in Sonic <laughs> Advance. What? <laughs> he was, like, slipping on that rail instead of, like, grinding on it. This is like, whoa! <laughs> Sorry, yeah. what? Um, the, the Amy gimmick, you know, the, oh, she's hard mode, she can't spin. Yeah, yeah. Like, every character can do that now if they have Amy as the partner. <laughs> Which is... Interesting, I just wish it was in a better game. <laughs> Trying to imagine how playing as Sonic would uh, turn out that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it exists. <laughs> the voice loop did not match the animation. <laughs> I think they were aiming for that. So we've got like a world music as well. For we so each level has like four um, ver uh, variants. Yeah. Oh, was he like paddling on the surface? The hell was the deal with that? Yeah. Huh. Huh. I'm wondering if everyone can do that now. Yeah, I don't think so. It might be like a Tails thing. I was trying to think of what that reminded me of, and it reminded me of Arya Sorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, you probably press the jump button to start descending, and it's like, what does that remind mm. me of? And it's like, oh yeah, that's just <laughs> a thing Soma can do. Interesting gimmick there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going up there. I'll give it this, at least the level design is like... Enables use for this stuff. Yeah. Like, it looks like it's actually useful. I'm not sure if the music usually sounds like this or if it's an emulation thing, because it's a lot more beep boopy than usual. <laughs> I don't know, those, the, like, that jingle sounds exactly the same from yeah, Advanced 1, so... Right. God, I'm trying to think. I'm sure there was a game, a collection thing that referred to like an advanced game, but it was on a non-Nintendo system. That just seemed kind of weird to me. Not that like Nintendo owned the rights to the word "advanced," but it's kind of like uh, how they just recently um, re-released Doom 64, and they were just like, "Oh, should we still call this Doom 64?" And they're just like, "Eh, yeah." <laughs> like, they, like Nintendo don't own the word "64," right. you know. <laughs> I think the actual quote was he can't copyright the number, but... <laughs> Probably can as well. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past some companies. Oh wait, that's doing that faster. Yeah. It wouldn't have been in, like, Generations, would it? Like, referencing the, uh, Game Boy Advance. Probably, uh, yeah. I guess so, yeah. Because Generations had some pretty, like weird cuts in it, like, uh, yeah. the Saturn version of 3D Blast had a oh, tr yeah. track remix in that. Sonic Battle had, uh, some music in that. 
Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah, yeah. All right. I just love the animations on these sprites. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's true that uh, Dims is made up of former SNK stuff, then that would definitely explain the quality of the sprite work. For sure. And they did the uh, battle ones, right? Yeah. So well, they had to, like, Emerald uh, had every other <laughs> sprite because of his Mokujin thing. Yeah. Which is kind of insane for a 2D game. Yeah. I mixed feelings on that game, but I, this right working it is very, very good. Yeah. And the, uh, the pseudo 3D stick, well, I guess there was pseudo at all, 3D. Yeah. I kind of feel like that game should have had a sequel that you could have ironed out a lot of things, because there were good ideas in there. Yeah, honestly. But I mean, this is Sonic, so... Yeah, they don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> I've been kind of, like, theorizing in my head, like, what's been going on, like, what they were thinking with certain games, and I'm, I'm starting to just maybe, maybe think that the reason that, like, the first 3D era was, like, so weird is that it, maybe it wasn't that they didn't know what they were doing, but they were just listening to everyone at once, like, there were people who were just like, oh, I like the serious story, so let's keep doing the serious story, but... They were like, no, I want, you know, more classic levels, so they did more, like, you know, cartoonish stuff for heroes, and... It, mm. I'm kind of starting to think that, like, maybe it's just, like, they try to do too much at once, and, like, they try to please everyone, and they can't, and they just didn't... Maybe, maybe the answer would be to split it into sub-series, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel like it's not like they're an, innately all bad ideas, it's just that they tried to do... They tried to please everyone. So I feel like, do, yeah. like Heroes is a lot of that, where it's like, oh, we have to keep Shadow around, because people like Shadow, but we have to make the game lighthearted, because people don't want the serious stories, but people kind of like the serious stories, so... Uh... Oh, it's just that you don't have to be so low. Okay. <sighs> uh, I guess it's, if, it, if it's within reach, when you've got that last chow. Oh. Um, yeah, maybe they just, just split it, like, have a... I mean, like... Like, like Mega Man did that, you know. There's like, yeah, the original Mega Man. There's like X. There's, you know, there's this. What's it called? The uh, the PSP game. No, uh, uh, this is Zero Mission. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Powered up? Is that it? Yeah, and then, then people were like going, "Oh no, they completely changed the art style." It's just like no, because it's just a spin-off, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, Mega Man kind Where's of exists it? with, like, several different series. Where the, like, the core idea is still the same, it's just, like, you know, different designs, different, you know, it's... And, different. like, you could do that, I guess, like, Sonic hasn't really tried that since, like, Sonic Spinball, you know? Because people weren't like, oh, this is the next major game and it looks completely different. It's just like, no, it's just a spin-off made by an American developer. Even, yeah. like, the Japanese advert promised, uh, American funky action, you know? <laughs> Which it did, it had plenty of funky action in it. Oh yeah, it was very funky. Yeah, maybe that's the solution, you know, I mean... I mean, they did Sonic Boom, like, they didn't do it. They outsourced it, but... Yeah. That was a separate entity, you know? That didn't cross over into the main series. They still did Sonic Forces, and he didn't have the bandages on his hands or whatever. Right. <laughs> Just wait for the next Sonic game to be, like, the movie Sonic. <laughs> oh, man. And play as, uh, fucking Cyclops. Sonic the movie, the game. Well, there's that... <laughs> that Sonic, uh, Boom game, which is apparently, uh... Like, even worse than 06. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of it, it, uh... Sure is. The only difference there is that it's just... I mean, that's basically a, t a cartoon tie-in game, so... I guess, like, it's not the mainline series, so... I'm, like, less offended by it, I guess. 
is it wrong to say that that's a really weird thing that we've got a Japanese series that several decades later got a Western animated series made about it, and then that got its own game? I mean, again, I've said this before, that's why the Sonic series is interesting, because it's really weird. Yeah. I mean, and, and the thing about Sonic is, as much as I don't really like to admit it, because it was like a childhood game, like Sonic is just is made as a mascot. Like, you know, he's, he's a corporate shill at the end of the day. Right, yeah. Yeah, you know, he's, he's blue to match Sega's logo, you know? <laughs> uh, so it's just kind of weird, all this franchise and stuff. But also how they don't really seem to keep tabs on it, you know? Yeah. They're like... Like, sometimes the... I don't get too far into it, but, you know, this... It's not nice, like, letting the fans do what they want. Results in some good stuff, like, you know, that basically resulted in a mania. Right. But then you get, like... Let's just say things that hurt the reputation of your mascot, and therefore your company, you know? <laughs> it's weird. But it's fascinating. It's... Like, they don't really care, like, you know, like, if... Like, uh, Mickey... Disney's very protective of Mickey Mouse, you know? You can't just... You know, if they do anything Mickey Mouse related, they probably want to make sure it's a quality piece of work, whereas this, they could just, like... I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, what, it's weird. Yeah, like, what, what do people even think of Sega, you know? Like, it's not like Nintendo nowadays, where Nintendo's just... They're kind of on top of the... I don't say the gaming world, but they've got, like, this... You know, they've got their image. They're well respected for the yeah, most part. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Whereas, like, Sega, it's just like... there's It's never like, oh, yeah, Sega, they're great. It's just like, yeah, Sega does good stuff sometimes, and sometimes they're fucking weird. They're like... Oh god, I forgot about this all. <laughs> um, they're kinda... I don't know what the analogy is, they're like, you're kinda like, oh, Sega. Like, oh, what have you done now? <laughs> it's just like a complete crapshoot whether or not the next Sega thing is, like, great or terrible. Well, I will say at the time of recording, there's been this hyped Sega announcement. Going on, going on for a while now, which will probably just be something like not very interesting, kind of disappointing. <laughs> just being hyped up as the next big thing or something. Wasn't there supposed to be like some big Virtual Fighter announcement or something like that, or was that it? Uh. I swear to God, like s somewhat recently, there was this thing where it's like, oh, they're gonna do something big involving Virtual Fighter. Or it was like kind of teased about it. Uh, Actually, I no, I think. That oh, it, it was it like the fucking like. Oh, what is that mascot character? The... Yeah, yeah, Sega Tatana? Yeah, whatever. Like, like, I think the announcement for that was, like, it looked like a Virtual Fighter thing, but it was actually, like, he has a son. Yeah, was... yeah and they were doing some commercials again. That's, I think it was just that. Right, right, that's what it was. It just, it's one of those things, like, people got so hyped about it, and it's like, you know it's not going to be anything good. Sega Satana was a, uh, whatever his name was. Yeah. He was a playable pirate in Project X Zone 2. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I have to uh, um, every time pri like that series gets I keep mentioning up, it, I know, but... It, it's, it's not like I I think it's innately bad, because it's a great idea. Well, I don't want to play it, but... Yeah, it's it's a great idea, but it's it's a big shame that it's just on such a boring game. Yeah, yeah, I miss fan service again, but it's just, that's what it's relying on. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's dialogue where he sees Jin and Kazuya, and he goes, Oh, Mr. Harado, I love your games. <laughs> it's just stupid shit like that. I mean, I think I've got my the only enjoyment I'll get from that series from just watching random YouTube videos. Yeah. Just the other day I was watching a, a video where Ooh La La from Space Channel 5 summons an alien storm character that she runs in and does a self-explode, <laughs> self-destruct attack, which I'm just like, wow. It's a deep cut. Jesus. When they try to win me over with this fan service shit. <laughs> but I'm just like, holy shit, there's a game with like Tekken characters and alien storm characters in the same game. And that's that's the whole selling point of that game. For a second. Like, I, it's just that. I keep mixing up Alien Storm with Alien Soldier. And I was <laughs> like, holy shit, but nah. It's not a I don't even know what treasure is. Like are those Sega properties? Or are they just treasure properties? I'm not sure. I think it might be like a Tojo and Nerl situation where they they own like the rights to the original games, but not the 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> They're like a second party developer, though. Right. Well, no, then they did N64 games, so I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they. In the. They did a sequel to Gunstar Heroes on the GBA. I and all these treasure games appear on, like, the Mega Drive Mini, which, as far as I know, isn't, like, a. Uh, like, a legal thing. Is Toji on that? I don't know, actually. I want to say no, but... That thing seems great. The only reason I don't have one is because I have an actual... <laughs> Mega Drive. Right, yeah. That's kind of a little pointless for me. I don't remember the last time I made a comment on this game. No, we've kind of been kind of... <laughs> Should have been saving all that for the special stages because uh, it's a hell of a level. This is very different from uh, standard Sonic Bay. Another like it reminds me of Cas Castle of Illusion, I guess. It's the closest thing it reminds oh. me of. I was gonna say it just reminds me of the uh, the instrument world from Sonic Advance Two. Yeah. yeah. This is not Sonic music. Sonic music I was listening to casually. <laughs> I'm sure part of the environment is like pencil erasers, which it's not really a toy, <laughs> unless it just looks like that. I don't think it's supposed to be. There's a lot of ways to get crushed in this level. Yeah. Anytime that it's like, oh yeah, the threat of this level is instant death, it's like, no, don't do that. Who would ape shit with the crushing blocks? Sorry, what? I was eating. <laughs> no, way, um, they went ape shit with the crushing blocks in these levels. Yeah. Them. Even like the very first level. It's kind of, like, weird how adventure games, when you got crushed by an object, you would just appear on top of it and take damage. And it's like, oh. that's silly, but I that's preferable to just instantly dying. Hmm. It's not usually a big threat in Sonic games, it's just like this one. Yeah. That's kind of a dick move as well, those things. <laughs> oh god. Oh, wait a minute! Hmm? The S and the P... Speed... Speed, power, and flying. This is the Sonic Heroes thing. I just didn't really think of that. <laughs> you see the S in the top left corner. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not really a mouse so much. Is that a piggy bank on wheels? <laughs> it's uh, my favorite toy. Because it's got money in it. What is. So there's Amy and Cream. Z mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. We don't have either of them yet, somehow. Mm -hmm. The, um. This is the only one that didn't introduce a new character. I love giving the tag gimmick, you know, it's like. <laughs> you've got enough work to do. I'm just very curious what having, like, I just want to know what the combinations are like. What does having Knuckles as a partner really get you? I'm wondering if that video exists, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it does, but... I know a Knuckles tag thing in the air was that you just ride him, which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, Tails? Ta what? Tails. Oh! 
to. Oh, I was like, where is he? Oh. <laughs> he, uh. He's nowhere. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Please, Sonic, complete that level. I need to be free. I'm here. <laughs> if you have her as a partner, you can turn invisible. This is really weird. <laughs> I can't forget it. I, I just remember what you were referencing with that. And huh? it's the, her turning invisible. Oh. Right. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was a thing that happened. But it's also in a video that I haven't rendered yet because we haven't finished recording oh. it, so. Well. <laughs> That'll be really weird for people out of context. Like, Oops. what? Uh, look forward to that. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? We're, we're still waiting to do Sonic Heroes. <laughs> we st we strictly adhered to release dates, which is why we did Chaotix before Sonic Three. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it's, it's, it looks like the most tolerable of the special stages, though. If you can actually, you know, <laughs> muster up the end if you can actually get there. Because that falling one was like... It looked like you had too long to react to anything. Yeah. The second one, well... I don't know what you thought of the second one. I mean, I barely saw it, but honestly, it looked kind of terrible. Yeah, this one looks tolerable. I can actually see what I'm reacting to. I remember, like, I saw one of the special stages for two, and it went on for, like, five minutes or something. Oh, jeez. I just remember it went on for way too damn long. It was weird, it's like you had free control, like, running around a 3D environment, and you're just, like, collecting rings, and I think, like, there's, like, a multiplier bonus for... Not getting hit or something? Mm -hmm. It was just really strange. I do remember the strangest part of this game being the final level. Which we'll get to. <laughs> Obviously. Uh oh. I'm gonna show off Amy. Okay. Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, I kinda like that. They should have been the cutest couple. <laughs> Cute couples getting free? <laughs> okay, so that didn't make sense. Huh? Their team of tech is. She hits the ground with a hammer and it sends you flying upwards? Yeah. Okay. Like, I get that her, her like, she had a high jump with her hammer, but. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that makes a little more sense. So we can't spin jump anymore? I guess we can't, no. <laughs> Bye, Amy. <laughs> I think I know why I chose this. <laughs> I like her idol, though. Oh, no, I can't spin jump. The, the ability definitely does exist, I just... Oh, we kind of jump. Yeah, but look, he's jumping. Oh, I think you press it a second time to Sonic and he turns into a ball. Okay. I guess it'd be kind of awful if you couldn't, because Sonic doesn't really have like a punch or anything. Yeah, I was wondering how that would work for him. <laughs> I like her animations of this, she's just kind of like... I, I don't want to jump... I don't want to, like... Say things that aren't true, but I think that's like dependent on her being with Sonic. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. It's honestly, just a good detail. Is this the Sandopolis boss? But 
Uh, like, I get what you mean, but... Why well, not you trying to just push it off other than just kill it? No, I mean, like... Oh, this one, I just realized what this level reminds me of. It's like, uh... Wario Land 4. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the Golem in Sandopolis. I know, know what you mean, I know, yeah. I know what you mean. You don't... <laughs> Ow! It just... It feels like uh, pushing it off the one. ledge is, like, kind of random. Like, you could have just hit it, like, X number of times and it would have the same effect. Yeah, look, I think we're kind of showing off in this game. In a lot of ways. This is going on way too long. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that animation of hers. <laughs> I think it's only when she's with Sonic. Yeah, I guess I They didn't have to put in that detail, but it's pretty good. Yeah. I thought she shouldn't walk on air. <laughs> Bye! They put effort in this game, it's just... That's what I meant by this being like, probably the most interesting of the three, because... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Twinkle Snow. Snow level. I honestly cannot remember, like, one snow level in the advanced trilogy from the other. Like, <laughs> in my head, they're just a complete blur with each other. I'm not saying they're bad, but it's just... Three. Three snow levels in very similar games. I guess two had like that city background. Yeah, which was quite nice. that was really neat. The first one is just kind of the basic snow level. Because it's, you know, Sonic Advance 1, it's the more... But! <laughs> what? I don't remember that. Huh. Oh, uh, we've, we've got these like airboard sprites from Sonic Advance 1. <laughs> uh, want to use them somewhere? Actually, yeah, yeah, this is also the underwater stage, so Jesus. It really is just the same thing from Advance 1. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but fuck that snowman, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's a doodad that does something, I guess. Why was the board necessary? What, what, he was frozen? Yeah... <laughs> um... Is this wacky workbench? Oh no. <laughs> but outside in the snow? Uh, I'd rather think of Press Garden, thank you very much. <laughs> I guess Omochao's like telling you where to go to get those? Because he's usually near them? Probably what they meant by saying, oh, use a power character here, whatever. Do we have the speed shoes power up, or is the music just like Yeah, no, 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 it's the speed okay. shoes. It's also following the tradition of putting them in areas where you're going up, like, vertically, so they're not useful. She has animations. I, I think she can be a fun character, you know, when she's not speaking. <laughs> I feel like that could be said, like, about a lot, a lot. of the, <laughs> the new characters in this era. It's like, y they can be used mm. well, they just usually aren't. Yeah. I guess she's come, uh, I guess Amy's come a long ways since becoming, uh, just like a plot device in CD. Yeah. It's kind of funny, uh, it kind of makes, uh... Yeah, because Sonic CD is, like, debatably a spin-off. 
but both Amy and Metal Sonic come from that game, or rather the specific Metal Sonic design that they use. Right. I'm more weirded out that they have so many variations on Robotic Sonic, and yet there's only one that ever really, like, comes back. The fact they design, yeah. Most people seem to remember Metal Sonic as well, which is, I think, a little weird because he's not particularly my favorite, just because he comes from CD, and I don't like CD. Yeah. Uh, I quite like the design. It's uh, it's kind of a like, blend of him being, like, he fits in enough with the, the existing Sonic characters, where he's not just a robot, he looks more like... Yeah. Like, he could be a rival, whereas, like, Mecha Sonic in Sonic 3 Knuckles looks cooler, but... That's the thing, is I... He doesn't really, like... He doesn't really... He's not less of a character, just a robot. I get that, yeah. It's funny, though, um... The Adventure 2 race mode thing... I actually remember playing uh, Metal Sonic a lot in that, because he was, like... Kind oh. of weird in that one, because everyone had, like, the special attacks. Except for him! But he also mm -hmm. had this really strange, like, shield move, where he could protect himself from other attacks, and also, like, if he was using it down a hill, he would just, like, start gaining tons of speed. Uh, I, I don't know anything about the battle modes. So. Yeah, it was... I played the, the, the Sonic version of that, like, quite a bit with my cousin. It was, uh, it was alright. You know, you're just playing Sonic levels, but against your friends. I also like when you're underwater, you can string those aerials together. Oh. But no, then there was, you know, treasure hunting and, uh, the mecha segments, and, uh, as you could probably assume, they're not very good, even in two-player. I like the Borealis effect in the background there, but other than this, eh, it's probably the least memorable snow level. Yeah. I'm still baffled by that snowboard thing. <laughs> Just because they had the sprites, it's so weird. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's like specific to this level or if Amy's doing that for some reason. <laughs> Why is he frozen? It's a, it's a freezing machine. What is this thing? It's the horizontal version of what they did before. I know, but why? Yeah. <laughs> and also, is. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have expected a lot, but it seems like picking Amy as your partner is like picking tails, but it's also harder. Because it's just vertical uh, like momentum. Like, it isn't flying, but... Yeah, the air thing's kind of useful, though. The, um... The boost. I mean, is that I'm any... sure they chose it for a reason. Is it any better than the flying? Well, the, the flying's pretty slow and it's got limited range, whereas this... I think in the water you can actually link them together, because you obviously you sink slowly. Uh, so maybe that's why they chose it. So, this is one of those things, like, it's just weird that in a Sonic game it would stop you dead to tell you, like, a message like that. Yeah. It's like that tutorialness is creeping in. Yeah. And we're gonna have to go back here. Why is Amy the only character with a surname? <laughs> I, just, I don't know why, I just just thought that. I know I've thought about that at some point, and the answer is I don't know. I think just because she is also a hedgehog, that it's like, oh, it's Amy the hedgehog doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Maybe, and also, like, that she's a product of, like, that other developer. So maybe they hadn't, like, 
again, that was like, old, Sonic City was older than Sonic 2, so they hadn't like fully established. Yeah. Well, I mean, Tails also... I thought she was like designed. Yeah. I mean, there's Miles Prower, so that is also a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, when I said she's the only one with the same name, I'm just, that's bullshit. But you know, it's also like the the two like the I guess the first two in characters introduced that aren't villains, but like two new yeah. characters. Yeah. Like it's it the was, two new friends. Yeah, yeah. It was Tails, which who has a full name, and Amy who has a full name. So it's like it's like they wanted to kind of go in that direction, but they still have Sonic the Hedgehog as their main character, so it wouldn't have made sense to keep doing that. I don't know. It's like this first two, they like they hadn't established, and then from Knuckles onwards, it's just like, oh no, it'll be the. Yeah, yeah. Good old KTE. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we ever mentioned that in one of these videos, but. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I picked up on that when I was a kid. I was like. Same. I didn't figure it out for a while. I was just trying to think, like, where it actually mentions, uh, that he's an echidna, I guess, in the... Manual probably is some shit, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The, um... Because I knew he was an echidna as a kid, just, but then he was reading the comics and everything, so... Right, right. Um... I actually don't remember if I knew that or not. That's the thing. I'm trying to go through all the, uh, the characters they've had, I'm trying to think if there's any, like, other weird names, but... Feel like Shadow of the Hedgehog, Silver the Hedgehog, Rush the Bat, uh, Government Spy, Rush the Bat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bean the Dynamite. <laughs> sure. He's a dynamite, yeah, like Hetty. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just the first two new characters we introduced that didn't Ray did the, the whole main thing. Mac the knife. <laughs> Mac the knife. <laughs> Uber the baby. <laughs> There's a Sonic character named Mac, isn't there? I'm trying to. Knack. Oh, Knack. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't. He's friends with I am um, Captain Commando. <laughs> I don't know all these characters. I, I I have actually never played a game with a minute aside from the references in Mania. Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it the bark of the polar bear, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never known a bear to bark. But... <laughs> oh, uh, honey, the cat. Which apparently made it into, like, the, the Archie comics, which is kind of insane. <laughs> yeah, it is. What the fuck? I mean, I never read it, but as far as I can tell, like, the Archie comics would, like, do every character that ever existed, like, without any restraints, including that unused Sonic the Fighters character that you get from data mining that's based on, uh, Candy from Fighting Vipers. Like, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. They even went so far! As to actually include cameos from the British Sonic comic character, like, cast. <laughs> They're the only appearances they've ever made outside of their own piece of obscurity were in the Archie comics. Jesus. Which is... And it wasn't like, oh, these characters kind of look like them. No, they name-dropped fucking Techno <laughs> the can Canary. She's hanging out with Amy. It's kind of great, honestly. And all of that is uh, so disconnected from, like, this game. Yep. It's such a weird series. Oh, okay. And the funny thing is, it's not even, like... This isn't, like, like, like sort of just a culty kind of series. Like, like Sonic in the 90s was pretty damn mainstream. I mean, it still kind of is amongst kids, you know? Like, yeah. you just got a movie. Yet yeah. it's so weird. <laughs> I mean, usually this kind of weirdness is reserved to quirkier, kind of more... You know, less popular things, but not, not like this. 
I was actually going to ask the question if Sonic is still actually popular with kids, and I realized that... I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I think he is, but that's honestly kind of amazing to me, because it seems like at this point it would be something that's more appealing to, like, you know, nostalgia for people mm. our age, but... Yeah. No, like, even despite all these fucking weird games, like, he's still got a thing in, like, with, like, kids, you know? The, the, the movie it's done crazy well. Right, yeah. Like, I think it's, like... I might be wrong here, like the most profitable video game movie or at least up there. Jeez. Maybe the best reviewed as well, just from the virtue of it being fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of one by default. <laughs> it's a very low bar for us. Uh... It's better than Mortal Kombat Annihilation, we've made it. <laughs> yeah, so I still, I still genuinely like the first MK movie. I don't care. No, yeah, that one's, that one's fine. Oh, there's nothing between them. No secret <laughs> affair. <laughs> just, they're just team okay. Yeah, this is very much why I chose this video, because I like, kind of skimmed it and was like, okay, the uh, the first result you get is just Sonic and Tails throughout the whole thing. Less, right. less interesting, even if this is longer. What about this level as well? I think I may have got it mixed up with the uh, uh, Sonic Advance 2 level, so very similar. Honestly, it looks like the same level, except the background's white instead of black. Pretty much, yeah. Oh! Okay. Oh, I think that's like a cl like kills all enemies on screen kind of deal, because of Knuckles. <laughs> you have to wait to see if they use it again. I want to see if there's a video that just showcases all these combinations. Because they're kind of interesting, honestly. They are, yeah. <laughs> I almost feel like the levels are designed to be slow just to, sh to, to get use out of some of these tricks. I think I see what they're trying to do. Like, it's like, it's been so long since I've played an advanced game, but seeing Amy with, like, the ball sprite actually really threw me off. <laughs> So I haven't gotten cream yet. Yeah, I noticed the character unlock seemed to be pretty late. I'm surprised Amy was before cream. I was like really expecting yeah. cream to be up here in Toy Kingdom. Guessing we're getting her here. Yeah. Knuckles. <laughs> so, do the partners actually follow you? Because it, it seems like... They try, <laughs> I guess. It's not like even in like the old games where Tails kind of flies in. It's just like, once they, they get lost, they're just gone for the whole level. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that combination worked for one level, I guess. I mean, they seem to know what they're doing. Yeah, fair enough. Aside from go accidentally going into a level at some point. That was so pretty fun. <laughs> well, no one's perfect. <laughs> I don't even blame them. Oh god, there's a chow here. <laughs> oh god. Jesus Christ. Jeez. I remembered an anecdote I wanted to mention during the Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I really wish those two names were so similar because I keep tripping myself up. <laughs> and then there, you know, we kept getting confused with Sonic Battle and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. <laughs> but there was there was something I wanted to mention in that video from my long play, but um, I only remember to mention it now, and it seems like we've got time to kill. So. Oh, I guess the snowboard is just an Amy thing for some reason. That's weird. <laughs> Why? I don't know. She was also in Sonic Advance 1, just like all these other characters weren't cream. <laughs> there was, uh... 
So you remember, if you remember the uh, Adventure 2 video, there was that area where I saw flocks. Oh yeah. And then immediately after that is actually a cut for me like earlier in the level, and it was just a, something funny that happened, so I felt like including it. And mm -hmm. I feel like we kind of didn't really get a chance to appreciate it, so I wanted to kind of bring attention to it. So yeah, there's this room where your like gravity is flipped, and then you've got three switches. Uh, one of them like flips gravity back to normal. And the other two, like, will take you to the left side of the screen, and they'll take you to the right. Like, it flips the gravity, like, 90 degrees. Okay, but... And I remember this uh, from when I was a kid. The switch that reverses gravity downwards, that's just instant death. Like, it's... it's well, it just, why is it an option, then? I don't know. It just randomly kills you. And there's not <laughs> any way to know Fuck that. you, until, kid. Yeah. And it's like... It's only the only room like that in the game, but it's still just like a random just if you make that choice, you're dead. And it's <laughs> but Ticks. But what I remembered is that uh, when I did it the first time for that video, the way forward is actually at the bottom of that pit. So I was like, Well what happens if I just reverse gravity and then fall into that area that you end up going to anyways? And in that cut you can see the answer is the death plane is right above that pit, so you die, but then you land on the ledge, and you retain full control until the game fades out. What? <laughs> because, Jesus Christ. What a hell of a series. <laughs> Can I just say Sonic looks absolutely terrified on that? <laughs> he does. <laughs> Look, it's still there. It's like, okay, what are we doing? For all the stuff he does, but that's the one that freaks him out. <laughs> and he's like burning his hands on that cable. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> God. I still like, uh, referring to the speed shoes as the make the music sound worse option. <laughs> Especially in these games where they seem to be used in really terrible places. Yeah. I mean, I know we had that argument, but I feel like ever <laughs> since we left the Genesis, uh, speed shoes have not been used effectively. Not really, no, I can't argue that. Actually, they haven't been, they weren't even enough to use effectively in 3D Blast, so... Like... Well, no, but they were just there for the sake of the... <laughs> yeah. Running fast in that game is not useful, period. Yeah, pretty much. Like, Sonic's normal max, max speed in that game is more than you'll ever need. I love when they don't have, you know, sprites for... Well, actually, no, they use sprite rotation for, uh, like, curved ledges and stuff. Mm -hmm. So why, why, when you're holding somebody, won't it uh, be rotated? Couldn't tell you. Maybe it looked <laughs> weird or something, or maybe that, like... Maybe you have to, like, realign this, the Amy sprite? I mean, I guess you something. would, but, like... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's optimal to, uh, just not doing anything. I guess you can pretty much do this at any time, it's just... I'm trying to piece together how this is working. Like, she's spinning really fast and he's just holding her. <laughs> is, he, is she just I mean, grinding he, down his palm or something? He's only shot because she's just finally learned how to do that. <laughs> oh, this idiot. This guy's yet to seem like a threat. It's just that Knuckles fight. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, there's an attack. They, they seem to love that in this series where you have, like, the fight where the enemy is just, like, kind of not effective, but that's the kind of the point. Yep. <laughs> Do you like that stage? Not really. Well, to do it. 
They really did not like match these characters to the stages. Well, no. They kind of did on they kind of did on the previous one though. <laughs> We're lost. Yeah, we got so lost we ended up in cyberspace. I got sucked into the computer this one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm kind of confused because I don't know what Cream would do as a partner because she's just, like, Tails 2.0. She can fire the Chow if it's something involved in that. I guess that would make sense, yeah. Which is kind of funny because it's not it. like you'd really need Cream to do that, but, you know, hey. No, yeah, she controls the Chow. I do like how her the person got lost trying to find this thing. You might that, find out now. It's a good hub world. So. Um, I'm just not. Did they mean to go in there? Apparently. Yes. Don't tell me the so, key is in this act. Oh my god, so you don't even know which act it is. Ugh. So you gotta like find this one thing in, in one of three stages. It really just parted this out. Let's make players like just search. This game is a mixture of very interesting and very miserable. Yeah. It's like there are things about it that intrigue me and things <laughs> about it that I hate. And how fitting is it that it was released the same year as Sonic Heroes? Because that's <laughs> kind of what I'm taking from this. <laughs> well, I haven't seen, like, any death pits, so... That's something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll see them, alright. Oh, no. I'm wondering now if we're ever gonna, like, throw in, like, Rush. Or something. Like, are we just gonna do a video on that at some point? Well, I, had, I mean, I had there two Rush games. Yeah. I don't know anything about the second one, I at least played the first one, even if only briefly. I suppose we could see it, and it might be interesting depending on how long it is. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the length. Yeah. I do know very little about it. We get some lore on Blaze the Cat, which is apparently not even canon anymore? <laughs> God, yeah. this series. Because that's like, essentially, like, a not a guest character, but um... Like, it, I don't assume it was designed by Sonic Team. Right. But... Then they're like, alright, we're gonna use her in this story, but we're not gonna... We're just gonna make a new background for her? I guess the Sonic Team would have designed her. Just because the game's outsourced doesn't mean... It's not like creative control, you know? I suppose that's true. She seems... Pretty consistent. Oh, it's Tails and Tails. But she even has the the uh, tails thing of like when he spins like his tail stick out, her ears stick out. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what? What? Well, at least we see a different character doing this shit. <laughs> it says Cream flying the plane. <laughs> yes. Is she trained to do that? No, she's she... like six or something. Uh, cheese is doing it actually. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's fine then. <laughs> I'm sorry, why was there a separate animation for Tails flying upside down? That was his... No, 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 that, that's his... He has, like, a boost ability now. What? He gets, like, a little, like... It's like a, almost like a double jump thing. Oh. The part he's upside down is uh, irrelevant. Oh, I thought it was, like, uh, like upside down flying. It was, like... No, like, no, no, no. <laughs> it was just like, oh, it makes more sense for him to fly like this since he's upside down. It's like, what? <laughs> I really got confused. <laughs> no, I think they just flipped the sprites there. <laughs> I, okay, I get it. I just... I, re I really thought they were doing something weird there. <laughs> and 
Seeing Tails from the back is really odd. It's like that Simpsons thing where certain like characters were never really supposed to be viewed from certain angles. <laughs> like when you're gonna do a Simpsons character from straight on, it's like the weirdest fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Why do they never make Rouge the Bat playable in one of these games? I keep forgetting, like, uh, she and Shadow have advanced sprites. Yeah, yeah. And that style. They're only 2D APS, I believe. Uh, I mean, they could have. They could have put Shadow in this. Like, why the fuck not? <laughs> like, this game didn't get a new character. Yeah? Topics for that, just smack him in the back of the head because <laughs> he wasn't looking. Uh, Sonic Battle has a. It's got an Adventure 1 character, some Adventure 2 characters, and I guess. Uh, Cream is an Advanced 2 character. Yeah. But also kind of a Hero's character? I don't know. That looks weird. Yeah. In there, to get the best ending, you have to um, get 100% with every possible character combination. <laughs> How long would that take? <laughs> So weird sounding. They really went like all in on these silly bosses. <laughs> you little fucker! <laughs> I just keep expecting him to start choking Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> He's grabbed with his bare hands like God. Are you little? <laughs> That's all I can think of when he says that. <laughs> Nice one, Cream. Nice spike. <laughs> We've gone back to the uh, tradition of bosses that hurt themselves, though. That's nice. <laughs> Stop it, idiot! <laughs> Am I gonna pay for this? Okay. I know he's getting away but into the. Uh, I guess this is like a physical place that exists. I don't know. I mean, apparently Cream was just taking a walk through here, so... <laughs> yeah, like, Advance 2 at least like, had Knuckles and Angel Island, and... I, I remember those ones making a little more sense. Like, why wasn't she in Toy Kingdom? Like, come on! <laughs> well, somebody had to be here, I guess. Oh, here it is, Chaos Angel. So you've mentioned this. So this is the level I always think of whenever I think of this game. Jubilee. You know, from the X-Men. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, that whole connection with Amy and Cream. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be Team know. Rose because they're missing uh, their third member. Yeah, it make big playable than cowards. <laughs> I love how he's the power character. It's like, what does he do? He throw. He has a fishing rod. He's big. He can throw his weight around. <laughs> he's, he's big. Yeah. But he... I mean, that's not how the, he works. He just, like, uses fishing rod like a slingshot through his friends at him? I don't know. <laughs> so this is the final level, which is aesthetically very different from what you'd usually get. Yeah. They're really just playing around with the level themes in this game. <laughs> hey, look, the it's... first level's a city, the final level is like... Well, temple. <laughs> it's Bebot, or whatever his name is. Is 
Is this like mm, but... the Chow era? Because like huh? the Chows are like really big in this part of Sonic's history, and then they like yeah. just disappeared. Yeah, they weren't really apart from the uh, Team Rose thing. They weren't really prominent in Heroes at all. This might be their final hurrah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Because then after this is um <laughs> Shadow. And then they weren't in that. <laughs> yeah. Sonic 06. Thankfully they're not there, because, jeez, that game's got enough weird turtle stuff. <laughs> what? Ah, Indy, <laughs> follow that boulder. There's something to hurt you if you're moving too quick, because, you know, it's a Sonic game, you're not supposed to be oh. moving fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'd be punished if you try that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. learn from your, uh, from the old master Mutation. Bubsy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one hit kills, well, crushes everywhere, so you die in one hit like Bubsy. So, I gotta say, I love how this level has a indoor and outdoor section. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me do that a lot. Yeah, whenever they do that, it's usually pretty neat, but they don't do it very often. Mainly did it a fair bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, so all we can say is like death pits, like the law. Yeah. This play is probably not going to show this off, but they are there. <laughs> I don't know why that looked really weird to me. Just like oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deliver this package. <laughs> Carrying a character is like probably twice our age or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's like that bit in CD. Very brief, though. Oh, yeah. It's music. I really like this theme, but it's very weird for a Sonic game. Yeah. I have to admit, I think all of the advanced music has really started to run together for me. Kinda, yeah, no, I don't blame you. Just the, the sound font. Pretty much. <laughs> Retro burning animation. Yeah, a lot of instant death in this game I'm remembering now from the crush just to this level of <laughs> eight level. I kind of forgot that she's not, like, spinning when she jumps. <laughs> this music is very serious for this, for a Sonic game. Yeah. Like, these chants? Like, what the hell? <laughs> this is more like Metroid music now I think about it. Yeah, kind of. yeah. Though maybe that's just a sound font and uh, I played Zero Mission, that's my point of reference. <laughs> this really does sound like Metro music, what the fuck? Yeah, they're, they're, that, that series has a fair share of like ancient kind of civilization levels. Yeah, this is just like the Chozo planet or whatever. Yeah. Why is the <laughs> Why is the B the B enemy like it's just it's like a random callback, but it's here on the final level? It's I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's a much higher jump, Jesus. Than the one the Tails gives you. Hmm. God, I can't imagine that. I mean, the, the sprite sheets for each character must be huge for this game. 
you know, good, relatively. I'm not saying it's like yeah. third strike or whatever, but. <laughs> Just look up an emerald sprite sheet sometime. Oh god, I think <laughs> I have. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> Why is she head? Yeah, this is Ed, Ed, and Eddie on screen. Two. <laughs> I don't know. They're all Ed. <laughs> Everyone's Ed. <laughs> Was that even necessary? No. I like the animation smears. Yeah. I thought she's happy, she's freaking out. <laughs> no, she's ah! like, she's really excited to be here, which is, uh... Oh, Jesus. Is she ever playable again in anything? <laughs> I don't... Oh, battle, yeah. Well, I think that was, uh... Well, yeah, that's before this, so... Yeah. This might be her last... I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking battles left, even though a... <laughs> this, this story is a follow-up. that like a lot of these uh like generations just has like a bunch of people just around you know yeah they just, just like you save one in each level yeah hell a lot of them are in shadow which is really weird like they're just oh yeah yeah they're just there to be like to give you the hero objective but fucking vector is in a lot of these games now but as like just a reference, like he's just—it's funny because he's—I don't know if I mentioned this—he's one of the oldest characters. He is. Who's yeah. in that that band like concept art for Sonic? Oh, okay. Yeah, originally like one of those early concerts, that Sonic was supposed to be part of a band, of which Vector was a member. And also, apparently, Vector is deeply religious. What? I called, yeah, I, I put this on Twitter. I wasn't sure if you saw it, but. Right about the time we watched Chaotix, that just happened to pop up on my timeline, and uh... Yeah, in the Japanese manual for Chaotix, uh, Vector is like a born-again Christian. <laughs> I am not making that up. Why not? <laughs> I don't know why they didn't like, put that in the modern games. <laughs> hey Sonic, have you worshipped Jesus Christ lately? I would love that they put a reference to that in a game, and then when it was westernized, they had to remove it. <laughs> does, does God exist in the Sonic universe? <laughs> Not anymore, <laughs> says America. <laughs> Alright, so this is the the level of this game. This is the most infamous level. This is the level. <laughs> Wait. Wait. You don't mean this is the level? This is the level, yeah. This is, uh, this is uh, the final level of Sonic Advance Story. No. Yep. That's a joke. No. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Like, I'm still baffled by that concept, but also the fact that they did a fucking trick like that. Like, fucking Meat Boy ass, uh. <laughs> double jump puzzle thing. I don't know. I think oh. maybe we could have st stood ahead of that, so I don't. Maybe, uh. I think that was literally them showing off. Still got Child to click, by the way. Still, though, you'd have to know that was there and, like, stay ahead of it in order to actually not die. Yeah, the level design in this game is not good. Yeah, don't get crushed there. Why? Why is... why? Also, if you fall off, like, that's it, you're not getting back. Like, you know, this reminds me a lot of a level in Donkey Kong Country 1, but 
that. Oh, that, I know what you mean. Yeah, that yeah. game isn't Sonic, like Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a, a no hope, but. So. Oh yes, yeah, true. <laughs> well, I do like speedruns of this game though, because they just com they find creative use of the partner thing to just completely bypass the shit. Jeez. Especially a tool assistant one. I'm sorry, I just got amused by remembering the fact that uh, <laughs> one of gaming's biggest rivalries was Donkey Kong and Earthworm Jim. <laughs> yeah, I, that was the thing. I didn't even know that Earthworm Jim actually put, like, a fucking stab at that series in their game. And... Did you see that? I forget if I posted Yeah, that. I've seen it. Okay. I thought you already knew of it. I, I don't think I did. It's just... I knew they were mad about it, I didn't know they actually done that with their game. Like... Jesus Christ. Did they get speed shoes? Or did, is the music just like this? No, this is just the music. Okay. This is like some Kaizo shit, this level. It is! That's the one way to make sure the final level's difficult. Why? <sighs> Jesus Christ. That's Chaos Angel. At least we got the key. You can imagine doing that multiple times because you couldn't find the key. Amy, you know how to fly the plane? No! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, Sonic! But I'm here with you, and that's all that matters. If we, we crash and burn, at least we'll do it together. <laughs> uh, you're not filling me with confidence, Amy. <laughs> We're going down, I love you, Sonic. <laughs> It's a good fun pick you got. <laughs> we'll always be together in hell. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I want to wow. die, Sonic. Barely made that one. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, that was... Too... Anyway. You get, like, a multiplier when you're going faster? Yep. Oh, this one's really like populated compared to the others. It's funny because you never do see who's actually flying, mate. No. You just assume it's the partner, I guess. <laughs> I'm kinda of surprised this special stage didn't do something with the partners, you know? Jesus Christ, man, that's, that's clutch. Yeah. I'm guessing that's uh, how you kinda of have to do it, too. Yeah. I hate the lack of a normal jingle here. Yeah. I. Oh! Oh, good. thanks. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Alright. I'll let you know the secret. Okay. Probably, probably just down test or some shit. I forgot what I was going to say now because of that shit. I was gonna mention, like, I just love that the that's Sonic's plane, but like Tails is always the one flying it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, let's get over there. Oh, the uh, thing on the side. What? Oh. Interesting. Oh, I know what this platform is. This is that thing on Death Egg Zone. 
<laughs> oh yeah. What the Christ is it doing? You over there! Who's he looking at? <laughs> He's thrown into the bridge. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Jimroll is so weird. Yeah. Like, he's always there, but what is it actually doing? Yes, he's a robot. <laughs> Sonic enemy versus boss clear. <laughs> Ultra Emerald. I don't remember this having a name, but apparently it does. <laughs> well, now it's got cooler looking motions. This increases the animation budget. <laughs> I guess it's settings because, like, Jermall originally, Emerald is like an ancient thing. So oh, yeah. Back to the end of the park here. I suppose that makes sense. Alright, so this is Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Oh. I think Cream kind of breaks this because she can just fire the chow at him, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like it has some sort of homing property on it. Yeah. This is a silly attack. It, it really is like the Master Crazy Hand fight. Certainly more interesting than that very first advanced uh, final boss. Oh, for it's sure. It's like generic as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amy's like, Where's I'm Amy going? <laughs> I want to get out of here, Sonic. I'm scared. Mission all over. <laughs> I was getting that vibe too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucker! Uh, I'm out. No. <laughs> Didn't remember that bit. Final zone. Uh. Yep. Uh, that's not good. Well, maybe it is good, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is it doing? It's a sky beam. Well... It has to call mate in a sky beam. Oh, okay. Oh, it's it, it is good. Oh no, not in my show. It's a photographer from Earthbound. But in robot chow form. No, that was nice. <laughs> Is there anything left? Apparently there is. Yeah, funny how, um... Sonic of Mines 1 is definitely a better game than this, but it's kind of funny how basic it seems compared to this one. This one just seems like... A little more padded, although that's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah. Weird, like again, just interesting ideas, but just the level design 
and the oh my god the special stages or just the requirements for them yeah like it's one thing to have to do with all the special stages I always think that's a challenge enough not having to find yeah. the things you know Jesus Christ it's like Sonic CD dialed up to 11 kinda yeah but then you have to do the special stage in addition to finding all the shit in the level. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. I could not be bothered to, to do all <laughs> that. The special stage is like... It's like the elephant in the room of the Sonic series. It's just like a classic Sonic game is going to have them, even though they've never been good. I do feel like a bit of a fake when I say enjoy the classic games, but I usually, like, like 95% of the time, I cannot be bothered to touch the emeralds. <laughs> Maybe the last performance of this original cast? John St. John was in this! What? Who the hell was he? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, was he the announcer, maybe? <laughs> Did Bick make some sort of cameo in this game? I, I don't think so. I'm gonna look this up because I've got a no now. I'm only missing the credits. Oh yeah, he's the announcer! <laughs> wow. That's great, that made me appreciate this game a lot more. <laughs> well, that's the sound test. Hmm. I like how this series has a named Chow that always follows Cream around. I actually have no idea how to identify him. No idea. Oh, hey, listen. I've got to hear the uh, announcer again. No. Son. 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 That's just kind of blowing my mind about that shit you come. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh. Well, we can keep track of them, I guess. I'll just tell you which acts are in. again. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> At this point. I mean, to defend these games, like, they're not no. necessarily designed to be played in one setting. It's, you know, because we like, we like to record these in one setting if we can, but it's not necessarily... Yeah. The intention. I just feel like Advance One even had a thing where it, it more so encouraged you to like make runs with different characters, whereas this one it's it's a lot more about just replaying certain levels to find stuff. I don't know. Hmm. It's definitely padding. I just feel like older games, like specifically like when three came around, you actually had like a character select. Mm -hmm. It's like when you have like the classic style where you can like pick a character, they kind of encourage replayability, whereas these games are just like longer. It's like the heroes thing where it's just like, well, you have to just do well actually not I guess not like heroes. You have to find all the things in the level, so you only beat it once, really. I don't know, it's just not very arcadey, which is typically how I view Sonic. Also, that went by a lot faster? Yeah. Um... Ah! 
Ow! <laughs> Way to be all knuckles on me. I must say. I kind of forgot how his, his ultimate form is kind of just looks like a generic robot. Yeah. Not even a robot, just a machine. <sighs> the Chaos Emeralds are dumb. <laughs> it's like it's like this in Adventure 1 where it's just like, well, the boss used them, but also you used them, so now you're both strong. It's like, alright. Not what? I don't know, I never got that name. Sonic. <laughs> I did not expect to hear Eggman giving out, like, gameplay tips on how to use him <laughs> as a weapon. Is that like that old <laughs> Yeah, that old sound effect, yeah. Weird. <laughs> it's kinda cool that you're working with him, but it's not it's just it's just a static sprite. Yeah. He's, reacting. He's not really doing anything. Like you could just replace him with just like a you know, energy ball. And it's like, yeah, same effect. It's weird, because like this game is is clearly like has is not afraid to make sprites and animations, yet here it's just like, he's not even reacting to what the fuck's going on. <laughs> it's like they had the tag gimmick, they're like, what if you worked with Robotnik, and it's like, but also... Well, shit, well, 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 we've already sent our sprite, uh, I don't even think, is that just like, like, what could they even really do, because it's not like he can roll to a ball. Or go super, like that would be fucking weird. So. I mean, I don't mind this, it's just have him react when he's like, he's yeah. Going around and shit. This means like they just couldn't do a lot with it in general. It's just, yeah. You throw him, and he's in his little machine, so. I was like, I, I wish the final boss looked more like. An actual robot, and not just some random machine. Yeah, it just looks like that's kind of underwhelming, you know. <laughs> and he didn't have a, he had just like a lying down animation there. <sighs> that whole thing looked like it was, I don't know. That was tacked on. Ugh. <laughs> um, don't know what he's gesturing at, but okay. Weird that they got all like silent now. Where's Knuckles? Uh, you know, he died. Probably, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> eat here shit cream. We, here we go. What is spin dash and cream's face? That's a bit rude. Ah, what? Sorry? Oh. I say I don't remember this, but I never <laughs> I never got the true ending. <laughs> I never did all that shit. Oh, actually, I do remember. I, I mean, I, I saw this. I'm surprised they're doing the old, the old school uh, little gameplay clip thing. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I recognized who that is. I kind of think all these gameplay segments are just more distracting from uh, the cutscenes, if anything. Yeah, they seem a little out of place. It's like they couldn't decide if they want to do a Sonic 1 montage or a little, like, 
post credit scene will not. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. A robot who loves birds. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is that such a trope, you I don't, know? I don't know. I guess the robots usually have birds inside them in this universe, so, uh... <laughs> Cream, stop trying to eat his arm. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking poor, uh, Chocolo whatever, or... What's it called? Cheese. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's gonna be forgotten about now. <laughs> Vanilla the Rabbit. That's a character that also... I mean, I guess Sonic X does stuff with all the, uh... Like, new characters. Let's pinch watch that! <laughs> no. <laughs> God, no. no. God, no. I honestly think that would be the absolute last... If I had to, like, watch one of the series, that would be the literal last one I'd want. Even Sonic <laughs> Underground, it would be, like, so bad it's good, you know? <laughs> All those weird animation fuck-ups. <laughs> Jesus. What is, uh... I'm wondering, actually, which is the longest. I'm gonna go ahead and say Sonic X. See, I don't actually know how long that went on. I... I wanna say probably pretty damn long, I just have no idea. It, you know what anime production's like. Yeah. Let's see here. So there were 78 episodes. Hmm. And no. apparently that's where Gotta Go Fast comes from. Which I did not know. Oh yeah, yeah, cause that's in the theme song. Yeah. Uh. Well, we can have we can thank that for the uh, stunning cast, four kids actors, in uh, Sonic 06, where everyone sounds either bored or, and or tired. Look, they didn't make the theme song rap, so. Oh jeez. <laughs> four kids were awful. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. The my only knowledge them was. Watching Pokemon, which I've revisited most things I enjoyed as a kid, as an adult. You know, things like Dexter's Lab and stuff, and, and still enjoy them. I've yeah. never gone back to the Pokemon cartoon. I just <laughs> can't. Like, no. Sorry, and apparently they never stopped producing it. They never stopped. Oh no, yeah, it's still going, which is. <sighs> I mean. Ludicrous. Pokemon is a uh, merchandise making machine, so. Yeah. Or should say selling machine. Congratulations! Well, for both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd cut off for the music? Yeah. Ooh, like, would, should we loop this again? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, who's crap? Post credit scene, very how how Marvel. <laughs> What's the secret? Uh. Um <laughs> Feels like a much more lavish production. <laughs> what was that it. for? I think by the way, they're friends. So I knew that. I think it's a callback to Sonic Buckle. Because he, he died. He died. 